results against that analysis. So let's move on. There are some uh, special uh, improvements we've made for lot batch handling. We wanted to enhance support for many lots per order uh, for both purchasing and manufacturing. Um, we wanted to ensure that quality has been controlled for each batch before receiving it into inventory and it's been controlled for each batch before a finishing operation. And we wanted to also make it easier to use on the shop floor and have an analysis created by batch. Uh, so you may have more analyses to enter, so we want to make it easier. So what we've ended up doing is that we have um, an analysis by lot batch number. Uh, one analysis is created for each reserve lot batch number. And with skip lot sampling, some of those batches may be skipped. In addition to that, we've added some more information designed to help the user. So on their receive reserve lots, you can see the remaining quantity and has the analysis been confirmed as well as when you're searching uh, for the lot batch number, you would see remaining quantity and has the analysis been confirmed or not. It's also possible to receive multiple uh, batch numbers. It'll create one analysis for each batch number for you. And you can receive without a lot batch number and then change it later. So in the example to the left, you will have uh, from lot batch number star to a different lot batch number, we put an inventory quantity. Then you can also change that batch number. Um, it would create an analysis for that new lot batch number.